Hey everybody out there, thank you guys for tuning in and preparing to watch this short film, Greener Grass. I am Lamont Thompson, I'm the writer, director, and producer of this short film. I'm the man who wears many hats. Again, I thank you guys for tuning in because I really need your support right now. The film is complete, it's done, you get ready to watch it in the next couple of minutes. Um, but now it's time to submit the film to film festivals. This is what it's all about, getting that exposure. I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need your donations. You'll see at the very bottom of this page somewhere below this video options to actually donate. These film festivals, they range from anywhere from $30 on up to $100. And the more film festivals you can submit to, the more opportunities you have to get exposure. With this film, there's so much stuff that I had to pay for from advertising, from traveling from different locations. Um, from picking or paying for the different buildings and locations that are actually being used. And this is the independent world, so everything is coming out of my pocket. So I just need y'all guys' help just so I can kind of get the film out there, get exposure, and just have other opportunities to shoot other films. So please click these links to donate something. Anything can actually help. And even buy support. I mean, you can support by just downloading the film. All this actually helps, man, and I really need your support so we can continue to shoot films and take this thing to the next level. So, I have an actual deadline of January 28th where I need to have all the money by then so I can submit to these film festivals. Like I said, there's tons of film festivals all across the world in Atlanta, South Carolina, LA is big, um, Nashville. There's a lot of big film festivals out there and I want to hit the big ones. The big ones actually cost the most, of course, um, just because of the prestige behind them. But definitely, I'm not gonna hold you up. My battery's about to go dead on this camera in any minute. So go ahead, click play, watch the film. I hope you enjoy it and God bless. How did I even get here? Life was once good, but I guess I wanted more. Now I don't even know what to do. I just keep asking myself, was it even worth it? Hey, Melissa, did Stephen call me while I was out? Uh, no, he didn't. And I'm surprised because that man calls you all day, every day. You keep him on a short leash. No, I don't, girl. He just loves me, that's all. I hear you. Andrea, you never call me Andrea. What are you doing? What do you mean? That is what your name is. Okay, let's not play dumb now. 
All right, we've been married for over 20 years. You call me baby, you call me honey, but you never call me Andrea. Look, did you call me to be arguing or something? If so, we can just hang up now. Was that someone laughing? Are you not by yourself right now? Because you still didn't tell me where you are. Hey, woman, you ain't give me a chance to. You've been at my throat this whole conversation. Who are you with, Steven? Look, I'm by myself. No, you're not. Who are you with, Steven? Look, believe it or not, I'm by myself. Then who was that laughing? Because I know I heard a woman. Okay, the, the gig I was working finished up early. I decided to stop by the bar and have a drink. So I guess the bartender overheard our conversation and started laughing. Don't let me come find you, boy, okay? Because I will smack you up in that raggedy bartender. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Okay, I'll see you when I get to the house. I'm going to be working a little later tonight. All right, well, don't work too hard. I will. Love you. Love you too. Oh, so you're still in love with her? Look, it's my wife. We have a child. She's gonna always have a piece of my heart. So, what, what do we have then? Because for the past six months, we've been sleeping around it. Is this thing going anywhere? So, hold up. So explain to me what you think we're going to get from this situation. I thought you was content with it being what it is. I mean, well, I was in the beginning, but... But what, Juliet? But... You've stolen my heart. Wow. I know, I know. It seems crazy to me sleeping around with a married man and actually thinking that I could become number one in his heart. Yeah, that is crazy. But you know what the crazy thing is? I feel the exact same way. What? Really? Andrea just doesn't do it for me anymore. For the past few years, things just haven't been the same. Then maybe we should be together. We're perfect for each other. See, that's easy for you to say. You just have a boyfriend. You can quit. I have a wife and a family. But sweetheart, your son is almost off to college. He's almost a grown man himself. You've already raised him. You've taken care of home. And now it's time to take care of you. You deserve to be happy. Baby, we can do this. Just, just think about it. I never expected myself to be in a love triangle. Now what do I do? Good morning, baby. Good morning, honey. How come you didn't come to bed last night? It was late. I didn't want to disturb you, so I just crashed on the couch. Oh. Well, what time did you get in? About 12, 30, 1 o'clock. 
at that. I lost track of time. Well, why were you out so late? You know how it gets. Hanging with the fellas. Everybody has a story to tell. But you've been hanging out a lot lately. I mean, I feel like we hardly spend any time together anymore. Aren't you happy? Okay. Silence. I guess that means you aren't happy. It's not that I'm unhappy. But things just aren't the same with us. But if you felt that way, why didn't you mention it? What am I supposed to say? You'll get all defensive. I can't even approach you. So is that the reason why you've been hanging out so much lately over the past few months? Are you really hanging out with the fellas or with another woman? There you go. I knew that question was coming. You probably knew because you're guilty. I wonder if she really knows anything. You're having an affair, aren't you? I'm not having an affair. Are you sure about that? Let me find out, okay? I said I'm not. One lie is always followed by another lie. I'd hate to hurt anybody, but I have to cover up my path until I decide what to do. Hey, baby, what's up? Are you busy? Uh, just a little bit. Why, right, what do you need? I need you to come meet me somewhere. Meet you where? Why? And what's going on? I need to tell you something. Okay, you're scaring me right now, Stephen. Tell me what's wrong. Just come meet me behind the church in the parking lot. And I'll tell you everything. All right, I'm on my way. Should I make up another lie, or should I just tell the truth? This is just weighing heavy on my heart, and I have to do something. The longer I hold it in, the more I hurt Andrea, and the more I hurt Julia. It's not easy for me to say. Oh, Lord. What is it? Someone else. Another woman? Yes, Stephen! How could you? After 20 years of marriage, Stephen? 20 years of marriage, Stephen, and this is how you treat it? Sorry. I don't want to hurt you. You're sorry? Oh, you're damn right you're sorry. God, please forgive me. This man's going to make me lose my religion. Who is she? You don't know her. I said, who is she? Her name's Juliet. Oh, so you're Romeo now? You do know that that story didn't end happily ever after, right? Do you want to be with her? Yes, I do. Just stop it. You're crazy. You mean to tell me you're going to break up our marriage for a fling? It's more than just a fling. At least it feels like it. Look, our marriage has been going downhill. Don't stand there acting like you think everything's perfect. You and I both know that it's not. Look, don't hit me. This is getting ugly. I didn't expect it to go down like this. Look, I need to see if this thing with Juliet is real. I can't keep lying to myself. And I can't keep lying to you. Oh, Steven. 
go. If you want to be with her that much, go. I shouldn't want to be with you anyway. You don't value our family, and you darn sure don't value me. I do value you, and that's why I'm going to continue to contribute to the family. I know you can't afford the mortgage, the car payment, and the bills. Look, I'm going to take care of you. And if this relationship with Julia doesn't work out, come back home. <laughs> Just what kind of arrangement are you trying to make here, Stephen? Like I said, if things don't work out, I'll come back and fix what I've broken. Now I've heard everything. If you leave, there's a possibility you're not going to be welcomed back home with open arms. And as far as Jacob, you're going to need to explain to him that yourself. Because he needs to hear it straight from the horse's mouth, okay? Understood. I'll take care of him. That was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do. But now, I don't have to lie anymore. Now I can be with the woman who really makes me happy. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> So what are you, what does that look about? It's done. What's done? I told my wife everything. You told her everything? I told her everything. Now we can be together. <laughs> Finally, like, this is what I've been waiting on. <laughs> Family is everything to me. My son and I have a great bond. I'd hate for anything to come in between the relationship that we have. Son, I brought you here because I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you. Dad, I am not having sex. And I know that if I were to have sex, I should always wear a condom. What? <laughs> but that's not what I brought you here for. <laughs> but it's good to know you're still a virgin. Keep it that way as long as you can. But son, there's something I need to tell you. What? I'm leaving your mother. Le leaving? Where are you going? I'm seeing another woman. What? How can you shoot a mom? Son, I don't expect you to understand. Sometimes things just don't work out the way we planned. I love your mom. But if you loved her, you wouldn't be leaving. It's just not that easy. Dad, you always taught me that I should treat women right. That women should be loved, honored, and respected. But you don't even live by your own words. Jacob, don't leave. Jacob. I'm leaving you the same way you're leaving mom. Now you know how it feels. Sister Andrea, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Mr. Whitfield. I'm doing well. 
Are you sure? You seem like your heart's kind of heavy. Well, I'm sure as you probably heard by now, my husband left me. And uh, he left me for another woman. Uh, my heart goes out to you, sister. I was totally unaware of the situation. Thank you. Just know that what the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. A lot of things happen to us in this life that we'll just never seem to comprehend. And it's easy to ask, why me? Yeah. But we all had those why me moments. You have them, I have them. Everybody in this universe has them also. Nobody's exempt. But it's not about the obstacles that we face in life. It's about how we deal with the obstacles we face in life. Don't let the devil steal your joy, sister. Amen, Minister. And you're right. And thank you for those words. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yes, sir. All right. Oh. Be blessed. Thank you. And you as well. <laughs> having a bad day? <sighs> Not bad. Just awkward. An awkward day? What happened? Well, for starters, I had a surprise visitor come out of the salon. And who was that? Jeremy. Jeremy came by to see you? Why is he coming to see you? He wants me back. I keep telling him that it's over and he just doesn't want to believe it. Hold up, so you still been in contact with him? You hadn't told me that? Well, I'm telling you today. And besides, it's never been anything that serious up until now. He asked me to marry him. Oh my God. Is that what you want? You want him back? Look, I gave up everything for you. I mean, for us, so that we can be together. Look, if you want out, you need to let me know now. I told him no, so that should answer your question. Just when everything was going good, now she hits me with this. Always on my mind if I reminisce, baby, you were so sweet, so kind, all mine, I may be missed, some warning signs, then your skin started to show, the drama starts to unfold, along with a few, you know, I'm sorry, girl, and I swear that up and down, you know I'm done with you, you got me out here looking like a fool, cause, first you're so warm, every day so sweet, and then you get cold, acting different to me, and then comes the hell and our love's destroyed in the middle of the funnel. And oh, 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 you're tearing my eyes. When I thought I saw your halo, but your love is like a tornado, tornado. And so I start to realize what I was getting into. You were surely draining me of all my love. And then we get back up again Changing directions of the wind Cloudy skies don't clear It's too much, too many Yeah, you see that fairy tale That's just for the movies Been looking for him But I'm really about to lose me oh. It's just so warm Every day so sweet And then you get cold Acting different to me And then comes the hell And our love's destroyed Tell
up work a little early today so I figured I'd surprise Juliet at the shop and take her out to lunch. Well, I said that I was coming back to repair things if it didn't work out with Juliet. I really don't want to hear what she has to say because it's obvious that she's been sneaking around. I'm sure Andrew will be happy to see me. Things can now just go back to normal. Key isn't working. Why would she change the locks? Hmm. She doesn't look too happy to see me. Another man? Guess what they say is true. The grass ain't greener. If 
you're right here right now, you clapping your hands, or you might have just finished clapping your hands. But thank you for making it to the end. Thank you for watching the whole film. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Of course, I can't hear you, but I hope you enjoyed it. And again, I have to come here right now to tell you to donate. Use one of these options, donate, download, do something so you can help support this film. We put a lot of hard work into it, myself and the actors included. I also want to get myself exposure, but I want to get the actors exposure as well for working hard on this film because they did an excellent job. So before you leave this page, before you click exit at the very top of that window, that big red X or that small X, please click donate, one of these donate buttons so you can help support this film and we can get it into some film festivals. So as I always say, thank you again for your support. It's been great. And you're going to continue to see some more work from One Way to Go Entertainment and myself in the future. God bless. Strive for excellence.